that when we talk about market, we're talking about that which already exists. And when we, pub when we publicly subsidize somebody, that means that the market is going to pay more, the unsubsidized market. That's not necessarily the worker, that is business. Right. And that, that, you know, and that's really taking the argument back to where it really belongs rather than letting others kind of glom this up as some sort of socialist agenda, what it is not. What it is is you don't want to dumb down your society's uh, edges, if you will, to and put people in poverty jobs, not only to the detriment of your city and your community and those people that have those jobs, but it's also to the detriment because the people that are coming here and paying full retail on taxes, that building across the street wasn't built with a subsidy, you know, they're paying the full rate. You're really costing them a lot of money. So what you're essentially doing is helping the few, which is a moneyed interest, mm -hmm. using taxpayer dollars uh, for a private interest, much to the detriment of the rest of the private sector. And that's resonated with business people that I've talked to. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm all for fairness, but I'm also pretty rigorous when it comes to looking at my budget, looking at how economics work, and so forth. And you can't load up on anybody and put an undue burden before it's collapse. So that burden is being squarely placed on the unsubsidized business community. And, and that, if they're not functioning well, then none of us will have a good job. We found that out in the recession. One is, is that you got to be clear about your numbers. Um, you'll, you'll get a lot of disinformation in these types of deals uh, that are simply not true and you got to knock them back. You got to have the truth squad out there, number one. Right. You also have to be realistic about what your economics are about and what are you trying to achieve. Those are the, you know, I, I think that's the single most important tactics, basically the truth, and also to clearly show that this is an overall a good thing for the community what, at the top, the middle, and the bottom, that we all benefit from these types of uh, legislative pieces. So I'd, I'd really recommend being very, very rigorous on your numbers, very rigorous on your economic data. And what I found in these fights is that the other side will put out questions, well, what about this, with no answers, uh, questions intended to only obfuscate or they'll put out information that's really not relevant and try to make it relevant. Uh, but when you, you have to continuously draw this back into the focus of what this is, and as I say, it, it's about really, it doesn't pay to keep working people poor, number one, and number right. two, why would only a few get a benefit from all of us and that, and, and, uh, and that door is shut to the, be the benefit is shut to the rest of us? That doesn't make sense. We're a shareholder. You want to do this development without my money, go ahead. You can do whatever you want. Right. Once you've got me, you've got an equity partner in the deal, and I got a say in this. And, and if you want to work with us on that, we're open for business. But you know, this has got to this has got to be equitable in, in its application, and that's the message that you really have to drive home day in and day out in this debate.